Well, former NFL quarterback Drew Brees wants you to get into the zone, the stretch zone, that is. A new stretch zone studio is opening in Encinitas, and Brees is there for its grand opening. Drew's joining us now on the Fort. Drew, first off, what is a stretch zone, and what are you guys doing out there today? Yeah, so Stretch Zone is a franchise concept. We have 232 locations nationwide. We are a practitioner-led stretching concept where basically you come in, you lay down on the table, we stretch you, we do all the work, you get all the benefits. Okay, Drew, I see right behind you there's a check, and I know that there's going to be a really well-deserved charity that's going to be uh, handed that check today. Tell us that part about this. Yeah, so actually whenever we open up uh, a studio in, in a new location, we partner with a local charity to be able to give back to the community. So Fresh Start Surgical Gifts got a check from both our franchisees um, uh, today and as well as Give Zone, which is our charitable arm through Stretch Zone. So Fresh Start, ironically, was an organization that I worked very closely with when my wife Brittany and I first got to San Diego 20 years ago. And here they are now continuing to do incredible work in yeah. the community, um, helping to provide free surgeries for uh, kids that are born with, uh, with deformities and um, with trauma. So uh, we're very happy to, uh, to support them as well as provide a, a, a much needed, I think, business in this community that provides a great service for a lot of people. No matter what you're looking to do, I think as people uh, get into their aging process, you lose flexibility, you lose the ability to recover. And that's exactly what we do at Stretch Zone. We help give those things back to you. This was something that I utilized yeah. my last five years in the NFL. It was a huge part of my training regimen, and we're happy to bring it to this community. Uh, and speaking of this community, it's great to see you back here. You spent five years here playing. You had a 20 year career, but boy, it seems like you left yesterday. Uh, how much of your life is still spent in San Diego? Because it feels like you're just still part of us here. Yeah, um, my wife Britton and I live here in San Diego with uh, our four kids. We live in Del Mar. Uh, kids go to school in Solana Beach, so uh, we absolutely love San Diego. We've got so many tight friendships here. I've got a few mentors here that uh, were not only great mentors throughout my playing days, but continue to be now in my next chapter of life. All right, Drew, how do you stay in shape? And then I'm going to ask you right after that, what is your weakness at the Thanksgiving table? Like, what are you <laughs> not going to turn down this year? <laughs> Yeah, well, how do I stay in shape? The, the good thing is, is I don't have to get in the weight room as much as I used yeah. to to build strength to play the game of football. So I get to do all the things that I probably wasn't allowed to do when I was playing, which is like mountain bike and e-foil and, you know, ski, you know, all the dangerous stuff that probably would have you know, <laughs> been included in my contract is, is something that would have gotten me in trouble. And got to follow up on that. Again. She asked, so when you hit the Thanksgiving oh, yeah, yeah, table, the Thanksgiving. yeah, that's right. What's your weakness? Uh, everything <laughs> you're not alone I'm, I'm a, I yeah look look I'm I am I'm of course turkey gravy the honey yes. the honey baked ham of course um, the uh, you know the sweet potato casserole the green beans with you know like the cream of mushroom but I'll tell you what it, my grandmother used to make homemade applesauce and she would put cinnamon red hots in it oh and you just like slow hot. cook Yum. slow cook that mix it up and so it becomes like cinnamon red hot applesauce so that's grandma Brees's recipe that all of you can have there you go oh my gosh i love that okay drew before we let you go here you know when we watched you play in san diego and then of course for the saints we saw the highs of your career and we saw the lows and we felt like we experienced that with you for people right now drew that are in that lull in that low what advice do you have for them to kind of get through that tough time? Yeah, look, I mean, that's that's part of NFL. That's that's part of the game. You know, there there are plenty of highs and lows. There's plenty of ebb and flows during the course of a season. You know, so much of the NFL game is dependent upon who's healthy any given week. It's such a rough game that you see guys each and every week where, you know, certain guys are out. It may be guys up front, you know, the offensive line in front of you or the, or the lack of uh, receivers or skill position players to throw to, or maybe you're down a couple key guys on defense and you have to adjust the game plan accordingly and find ways to win. So it's amazing when you look at the kind of the complexion of the league right now. Obviously, Philadelphia is the only one who's undefeated. They play tonight, um, although I think the commanders beat them, <laughs> mark my words. Um, but the rest, the, rest, the rest of the league is, is wide open. It's wide open. You don't know who's going to win any given Sunday. Um, and I love seeing teams like the Jets 
who have been you know downtrodden for so long and now all of a sudden they're in a position to win that division to be a playoff team um, that's why people love the NFL because just about every game comes down to yeah. the last possession all right sounds like a flexibility it's a key to staying healthy a key in life and uh, just like at the stretch zone you might need a little help staying flexible in life Drew Brees thanks for joining us today good luck in your venture we appreciate your time Hey, we're going to see you guys at Stretch Zone here in Encinitas really soon. Your first stretch is free, so you got nothing to lose. Okay. Oh, I, yeah, I could use there. it. I could definitely use it. All right. I'm going to take him up All on right. that. All right. Jay, thanks. The more I run, the more I need it. Kind of sounds like an announcer, if you ask me. He might, might have done it once or twice <laughs> in his life.